Good afternoon. Good afternoon, members of the Joint Committee on Public Health. My name is Dr. Judith Schindel Rothschild. I'm a nurse who's been practicing in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for over 40 years. I've been studying the impact of nurse staffing on patient outcomes and have presented testimony to the Joint Healthcare Financing Committee, the Massachusetts Health Policy Commission, the Committee on uh, patient care quality that looks at outcomes such as central line associated infections, catheter associated urinary tract infections, patient falls, failure to rescue, which is uh, tr preventing complications following surgery. On, the, on staffing in medical surgical step down units and intensive care units. My research looking at the effect of nurse staffing on hospital readmission rates, which you have heard in Massachusetts is among the worst in the nation, has been published in the Journal of Nursing Care Quality. I also have a publication um, that will be out in February of 2016 in the Journal of Nursing Administration, linking nursing staff, uh, nurse staffing to the readmission rate for pneumonia in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. One of the members of the commission asked about why things have deteriorated in terms of staffing over the past five years. And in my written testimony, which is in a packet that you can receive, I gave to your staff, you'll see in an article in, in Nursing Policy, Politics, and Practice that I trend out the staffing patterns in California and Massachusetts over the past decade. Staffing in Massachusetts has remained flat. It improved in California under the ratio law but demand went up here following our health insurance reform and basically nurses were taking care of patients um, in terms of admissions and turnover in beds that we had never ever seen before. So overall, the, the, the amount of nurses available to take care of patients went down. Today, I wanna focus on the number of nurses available to take care of patients in our emergency rooms, which to me, frankly, is an absolute crisis. Over, on average, in mass EDs, nurse care, care, nurses care for approximately seven patients in an eight-hour shift. However, it's critical to note that there's a significant range in the number of patients cared for by nurses. Level one trauma centers treat the most seriously injured and critically ill patients. Even in hospitals where RNs care for the fewest patients, such as Mass General, with three patients on average. Brigman Women's, with four patients on average. That load is higher than what you'd see in ICU CCUs. At Bay State Medical Center, Boston Medical Center, which are also designated one level trauma centers, nurses care for six and seven patients respectively on average. A similar wide range of patient loads is seen in level three trauma centers. I want to get to the impact on outcomes. Uh, there are two outcomes in healthcare and emergency rooms that are relevant here, how long patients have to wait before they're seen by a, a registered nurse and how long patients have to wait after sustaining a long bone fracture before they get pain medication. In both instances, I found significant relationships with the number of nurses that are available in terms of staffing those emergency rooms. So in closing, I want to again emphasize all of my publications all of my past testimony, including the testimony today, is available for, for you that I think unequivocally demonstrates there is a relationship in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts between how many nurses we have available and patient outcomes. Patients are suffering and we need to change the status quo.